So today I'm going to be play, working with these colors. I've got an aqua. It's a green that I've sort of changed the color a little bit. It was, it was a phthalo green and I've altered the color slightly. A metallic gold. And I have introduced a white because these two are quite close. And so I plan to layer it with the green, the gold, the aqua. But then I think I'll put a little bit of white between the green, these two greens so they don't muddy too much. So I've got my cup. I am actually pouring on, this was a canvas that I did to test a green smash concept and I have actually created the video which I'll share with you. So the idea behind this is, is that when I did the last random pour I did, I sort of started in the center and then it became quite difficult to shift that centerpiece. So now I'm going to start on the outside and then just, I suppose, slowly move in to the center maybe go back out again come back I, I, I think what I'm trying to do is keep a, a uniformity of colors maybe quite sure what I'm trying to achieve but I just didn't like how I got such a big block of the one color at first I liked it and then when I looked at it again I was like mm, I don't know if I like that as much cups always look so nice so now looking at this I've got lots of gold on the outside which would make sense because gold was the first color that came out and not as much gold on the inside because that's the part of the cup that's blended them. I'm using a butane torch and I do this so that I can sort of pop air bubbles but also if there's any, you know, by doing this, these pop the air pockets, pop the air pockets and bring up cells. So. It's actually looking quite interesting. A couple of areas here that I don't like because I didn't let the paint marry up so I'm just going to pull those together a little bit before I start tipping off paint. I'm also wondering about using what's in my cup before I move it, start moving everything off the canvas and just I always like to get into my corners it's just my preference Because I actually think that's quite a nice design in itself. Okay, let's start doing some paint moving. Let's move some of this. What I did realize when I was mixing up my, uh, probably more pouring the paint into my cup, my green was definitely thicker than my other paints. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe it was because I was changing the color of the green. So maybe I put more pigment in the time I can see that's having an effect as I'm doing this because it's definitely making it's moving slower than the other paints just go there just want to make sure you can keep seeing what I'm doing as I'm doing it because I really like that green that gold so I want to try and hold on to as much of the gold as I can I quite like these random pores. Actually, I like them a lot. They're really cool. So this side hasn't got much paint on it. So, but what I'm going to do instead of um, pushing paint off, I'm going to lift up from the bottom and, and attach to there 
attached to my canvas try and see match my colors as much as possible I might even pull from under the canvas and then I'm just going to let the weight of the paint do its thing there I'm not going to get too involved I do have a bit here that I need to push off so I just want to move it around so you can see this is the only thing that starts to happen when you're moving paint around and you get paint on your little cuppies it can get a, a bit irritating so you can see I'm just trying to push the paint in that corner but I don't want to lose too much of that gold I'm just taking it to the edge and then I'm snapping it back as fast as I can. Do, these colors are nice. Oh yeah. Um, I actually think I'm done. I think it looks nice. I love those colors really like them and so the color that I often work with is is called a sea green but I've found that it, it's very dark and so this time I thought no I want to change that green a little bit so I just added some yellow and white into the green just to just I just wanted to lighten it up I didn't want it to be so intensely green and I actually think it's been the right decision to make because it's it's a softer sort of jade. Just going around and making sure that my sides are looking okay. Very happy with that. Very, very happy. Like I say, I like these random pores. They're pretty cool. So there we are. That's what it looks like. And like I say, I just think, yeah, it looks lovely. And I liked the fact that I put the gold, you know, so because what comes out of your cup in the beginning is what often, you know, and putting it in the center would have, I don't know, but I think it was good going out and then slowly moving into the center. I think that was a good strategy. And then you look at this, if I take you in closely, like, so I've kept the gold on the outer edge. Yeah, I like it. Perhaps what would have been the ideal is if that white was, you know, there was actually, that was gold there because it's sitting underneath that white. But it's still quite nice. I wonder, because there's not that much blend between the greens, if it might be an idea to do this with no white, just put gold all the way through. So that might be the next kind of color idea I try. But thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you liked it, please definitely like, subscribe, comment. It, you know, subscribing costs you nothing. And then you get notified when I put up more work, more videos. So thanks very much for watching. I appreciate it.